Hi all, welcome to RPA Feed. In this video, we are going to talk about the new task which is available in Automation Anywhere A360 platform. That's called API task. So I'm logged into my control room and then you can see here when I click on this plus icon, I see the new task that is called API task along with the other three tasks. So this task bot is you're already aware of, it's a RPA task. Then this is form. If you want to design a form in your process and then this is a process orchestration like uh, when you want to create a process composer for your co-pilot automation co-pilot or re then you go for go for this process task now this is what exactly is this api task you can create it from here if you are within one folder and uh, otherwise from the control room level you can create it from here as well okay so we have created one api task it's, it's simple once you create click on api task it it is same like creating a rpa task board okay let me go inside this the test api task that i have created the same interface you get here when while creating a task board so when you open this api task board the interface or the workspace that you get it is similar to what you get when you create a rpa task but the only difference here is in the list of available action here you will see all the actions that are mostly relevant to the api tasks most of the actions are having the api endpoints okay and loops i mean general actions are also available but not all okay and uh, the benefit you get um, the, so for example here there is no message box because it is not needed whenever you are giving a call to an API there, uh, the API will return you a response there is no point of having a message box here so similarly there are a lot of other actions that are not available when you compare it with a RPA task and now you may ask what exactly is the benefit of this so the benefit is you don't read, uh, need a runner machine in order to execute this task i mean your own runner machine this would run in your uh, automation and your providers uh, one of the runner machine there it will run and this is a this would be very fast because all the resources needed for executing this task will be preloaded it is not like when you are building a bot and then you are deploying then at the runtime it is gathering all the information uh, regarding the packages regarding the manifest file right blah 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 so everything when you create in a api task it is preloaded with all the configuration that is needed to run that task the only time it will take to run that particular query your api request and fetch the results that's it so it is very fast let me show you one thing so this was creating a standalone api task but if you want to merge it with the, your within your process so i have created one test process here you can see here and the entry point for this process as you know right here you can see here bot bot task form task api task process and document validation and filter so these are the available options now and when you click on start always you have to specify the entry level form where you capture the user's request and then after that your sequence of flow it can be another form task it can be a normal bot task right you can drag and drop here and call a rpa bot in this and then there is a need for example after this bot task you want to call a api task then you can just simply drag and drop the api task and give the reference of that api task from here browsing here okay and then so this is what your api task will be handy in the situation where you want to uh, do something uh, some api call let's say it's a sale data from salesforce data from workday or any other application or service now right whatever it is related to a api api call so you can you can call that here and uh, the, uh, get the results back and then do the further course of action earlier like when this api task was not available we had to do this in a bot so it was like now comparatively it would be faster to cater all your api related requests at the moment 
that's all about the api task in 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 upcoming videos i'll be creating some uh, scenario or some of the use case where i can demonstrate you the exact functioning of this api task thanks for watching <laughs>